already was, which will show on the tactic transcript. Oh boy, we're doing it. We're committing to I it, don't guys. Know if I want to. I don't know if I want to turn captions on. I don't want to see the things that I've said. Uh, I will anyway. That's part of it. <laughs> I think my captions have to be on for tactic. I'm not sure how it works. Ow. Andrew got a haircut. Yeah, he did it himself. Yeah. Mm, fancy boy. I I. You know, Lucas, I'm mad that you told Ryan that I did it myself. I wanted to say that I just got my hair cut and see if he could tell. <laughs> Get his honest it's, honest reaction. It's long in the front. It's a it's a it's a hell of this, an undercut. It is a oh, no, fire is, undercut, bro. Yeah. It is an uh, anime what, undercut. I dig it. No, I, I said to Lucas before we started recording, what I was going for is I am infiltrating the Aryan brother. <laughs> it is it is an old style Nazi undercut, like the OG undercut before all the hipsters got to it. Uh, that's yeah. pretty impressive. I was I'm I am probably still going to cut a lot of this off the front and the top, but I the didn't floof. have the time or the wherewithal. Ian got his haircut also, today. Yeah, like, Ooh. Oh really? By himself, and then me at the very end to finish it. Yeah, tag in. Hey. He just he, he cut it the same length as his beard, Ooh. so it just looks like a solid Ooh. like two hey. all over his head. It's a, I mean it's a workable haircut. Yeah. Like it's passable yeah. automatically. So, mm. and then I just That's had to line them up, and I was like, this is awful. This is the worst thing I've ever had to do. <laughs> line up <laughs> someone's back of their head. <laughs> And he's yeah, like, I'll wear a hat. Done. And I'm just like, that part shows when you're <laughs> right? wearing a hat. <laughs> That's like the one part that shows. Yeah, no, as long as you don't look at the back, I think I look pretty good. I kind of want to see the back now. Yeah. No, Jay did the back. I'm not showing you the back. <laughs> Whoa! Is Jay just the worst barber of all time? Is this a No, actually, actually she was a big help. She was a big help in lining me up in the bottom. The back is not that bad. I, I couldn't do any better. Um, <laughs> Backpedaling? <laughs> if you had a clone, you're telling me that your clone couldn't have done better lining you up on the back? I, I don't know that they could have. Well. I am not a barber. I watched one haircut tutorial and said, I can fucking do that. <laughs> I watched zero. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just yes. like, what, you need me to even out the, the two and then line up the hairline? Angel, get over here. <laughs> well, let me know when the hairline's straight. Did you go Did you go electric to line that up, or are you busting out a razor blade for that, Ryan? Oh, my God. Yeah, what he's not. Think? Yeah, he pulled out his straight razor. Yeah. And he <laughs> I lathered up. On the, yeah, I lathered up yeah. the, the the cream and then yeah, brushed it. And Sharpened it up on that nice... weird belt thing. Yeah, and you like yeah. pulled his chin up. Yeah. as you <laughs> the thing. <laughs> the throat slitter. Yeah, no, none of that. It was an electric. <laughs> it had a two, and then we took off the two and we lined it up with the no no guard. Yeah. Best we can do. It's quarantine, baby. It is the best you can do. And we're doing our best on episode 131 of the Voluntary Viewing Podcast, recorded on Monday, February 15th, 2021. We got a couple of boys here. Lucas, introduce us. <laughs> I, thought you were doing, I thought you were taking all no, of I can't. The- I can't besmirch Lucas's. I think you like, already did though. Thing. Wow, you already took part of his I mean, thing. Okay, and then you, didn't you know what? Through. I you all right? All right, bird is almost ready to leave the nest. Okay. Oh you know, yeah, very end. Just needs a little that push. baton. This metaphor is breaking down. Push. So I'll just get into it. On the podcast today, we have a man who took all of his sad boy energy and became a TikTok sensation, Andrew Clark. I've garnered 300 views on TikTok, and TikTok, notorious for being hard to <laughs> distribute video and get traction, it's it's impossible to do so. So 300 views, that's the big wait, leaves, wait, 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 300 views or 300 likes? Views, oh, okay. not likes. Oh, okay. How many likes you people got? scrolled past, 300 <laughs> people scrolled past my video. How many likes? It, 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 in a, eight. Well, all right. <laughs> Not bad. Not it was bad a video that was made literally as an inside joke, only for the two of you to see. I didn't care who else saw and the it. Podcast. It was made yeah, for we'll you two. Yes, and 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 the podcast. Yeah. Uh, just inside jokes from the podcast because 
everything I do is a cry for help. Um, so I, I made a video compilation on TikTok of me doing the things that Lucas and Ryan think means that I'm about to, like, slip into a depressive episode. Do sad boy things. Mm. I was on the podcast today. We have a man who looks positively dapper in his girlfriend's Valentine Instagram photo, <laughs> Ryan Holtz. Hey, my hair is really long in that picture. It fits, though. Suit jacket makes up eh. for it. Blazer. Bla- wh- okay. Okay. Haven't we had this discussion, like, a lot on the podcast? Once we before. We had this discussion, like, two days ago. Yeah, that Lucas... Wow. Thinks that blazers are suit jackets and vice versa. Wow. I mean, like they they are very similar. There's no denying that. The pants don't match. Dead yeah. giveaway. I mean, they're tailored different. It's a gray blazer and black pants. Like they very clearly don't match. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're making it a trend. We have a trend. Oh it, on no, the it goes. Today. Okay. Don't you worry. It goes. I, I oh, put I on one. Fuck. Sh- <laughs> I put on one shirt and I was like. This doesn't go. And I, <laughs> I, I went to Old Reliable, the, the teal blue, uh, which, don't tell anyone, but it's got a dirty little secret. <gasps> it's, a, it's a short sleeve button up. <gasps> but oh when you God. wear it under a blazer, nobody knows. The moves! The <laughs> moves this you. man has! It's just for you. <laughs> oh, I just saw this. I was literally just about to ask if you were wearing some sort of, like, pastel blue shirt to make it just totally fucking work. And yeah. then it popped up on my Instagram. A, and you are. It's a teal pastel blue, and it fucking goes. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I know. And then last but not least on the podcast is me, a man who does the opposite of gatekeep anime. I make people anime fans whether or not they want to be. Congratulations, Ryan and Andrew. You two are honorary anime fans now. Welcome to the club. No, this isn't no. what I wanted. No, what, what's the SNL sketch where uh, The Rock makes the child molesting robot the <laughs> most evil invention? And he's like, see, uh, Shrink Ray guy, he's, he's with me all the way. And he's like, no, I'm not. Stop, stop saying that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There was a big... Uh, I. Some asshat on Twitter made a long rambly poster. He was just like, "If you don't, if you only watch Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, One Piece, Demon Slayer, Bleach, Yu Yu Hakusho, Sailor Moon," it's getting long, right? And then you finish that <laughs> with, "You're not a real anime fan." And it's like I, I knew where it was going. <laughs> the list got really long. Yeah, like, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck else is there? Yeah. What are you watching, dude? Yeah. I heard Dragon Ball Z and Naruto, and I thought it would end just there. And like, mm-hmm. I don't agree with the guy. That's an asshole statement. But like, I see where he's coming from. <laughs> Eventually, it just became going. yeah, like every mainstream anime. And it was like, I don't know. <laughs> so you can say that. I saw that tweet right before the podcast because I saw it was trending on Twitter. One of them in that tweet, I legitimately had never heard of. Which, uh, here, let's let's see if I can pull it up again. Um, I mean, I I only saw the I only glanced at the tweet because I knew it'd just make me mad, so I didn't yeah. study. In in you in Yuasha. In Yuasha. I've never heard of that. Granted, mm. I'm not an anime fan. Well, you are now. But <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> if you Might want. Be. If you watch The Office, Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> NCIS, Schitt's Creek, Lucifer, Shameless, The Crown, Tiger King, The Blacklist, The Umbrella Academy, Longmire, Queen's Gambit, you're not a real TV viewer. <laughs> like, Just everything. A very diverse, yeah. <laughs> like, a diverse show. selection. Just the popular stuff. <laughs> And that's also something that's kind of fucked up. Imagine if anybody tried to gatekeep any other entertainment medium as hard as this dude is doing yeah. for anime. That's literally yeah. what it is. Fucking ridiculous. No one's on the other side of this issue. No. Except for him. Apparently. Yeah, no, he? he's, he's the dude. Was it, was it ratioed pretty hard? Uh, it got pretty... It got... Yeah. Yeah. Ratio incoming. Mm-hmm. 
I love the true ratios where it's like twice as many replies as there are favorites. Like yeah. When it just it gets bad. Like no, this people is... are clearly dunking on this person really hard. This, this, I mean, there there's been some bad ratios out there where there's like 500 likes and 16,000 replies. Yeah. Just crazy shit. And you know, half of those likes are just people bookmarking it because they need to take a minute, formulate, yeah, and need then to find, find it, it to respond. Yes. <laughs> Throwing it to a writer's room to properly dunk on this tweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just put it in the group chat. All right, guys. Yeah. What do we got? Well, let's formulate some shit here. <laughs> what do we got, boys? We've got news of the week. Andrew, you are just taking it away this time. Go for it. Yeah, there's more than one red berry entry in this planning document um this one happened at like the very top of the week it was like the day after we recorded the last podcast Mm -hmm. but yeah someone hacked into cd project red and stole the source code to cyberpunk and the witcher 3 and was trying to like hold it for ransom saying give us this much money or we'll sell it on the dark web Mm -hmm. cd project red said no and then it was sold in some online auction, <laughs> and someone fucking has that shit. <laughs> it was like, I, I, I wish I could find the amount that it was sold for, but it was ridiculous. It was like in the billions of dollars that they bought it for, I think. Maybe I'm adding an extra couple of zeros. <laughs> I, I, it was a lot. It was a lot of money. Wasn't the ransom note very circa 2007 meme too? I, I didn't see it. it. I don't know. I don't know if they put the ransom note out there for people to see. I, I believe it was published and it had language akin to "all of your code is belonging to us." Uh, yeah, that's a classic. Uh, meme. Yeah, cool. Classic meme. So yeah, that's a thing. It's pretty fun. Yeah, of course it is fun. Project Red. What are they gonna do? Huh. I'm like, oh no, now people won't buy our games. <laughs> now, pe- now, now people will mod it more easily? <laughs> yeah, like, I know that, like, Cyberpunk already has a lot of bootleg mods. Like, it's already, like, a big thing. I think it had mod support. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know, on PC. I know there's a ton of mods for it, but I also think that The Witcher 3 doesn't have that many. I haven't seen many mods for The Witcher 3, but... The game is old. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, it, I don't know if, like, people aren't going to be using this to make bootleg copies and then sell it. I imagine that they're going to be using this to develop games, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, you could. <laughs> Maybe. It's it's all, the problem is, is that if it could be traced back to CG, Pro, if, to the source code at all, then mm-hmm. you're, you're fucked. You're never going to be able to do anything with it, but... I guess in theory, if you were really sneaky, you could disguise it enough that yeah, maybe you could get away with selling it on Steam and making like 50k before someone is like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't right. So, I don't know. I don't know sooner or later if anybody does anything with this. Um, CEO of Riot Games, Niccolo Laurent, is being sued for sexual harassment. Is he French? I think so. That's racist. <laughs> what? Rapey French guy. Oh, That's a stereotype. What? The, the writers of 2021 <laughs> need to be canceled. <laughs> Guys, we have moved so far past the Pepe Le Pew caricature. How dare somebody bring that caricature to life? Come on. Yeah, this is disgusting. I, I for one, will be boycotting... 2021 and it's writers wait we gotta get this fucking vaccine (laughs) uh yeah no just like yeah yeah everything about this story is just stereotypical like propositioning his secretary for sex and shit and just not great and yeah that's the culture riot reportedly had and still very might well have that it's it's fucked it's not great I love that Kotaku gets also the the little blurb at the end, the 
Last year, a riot executive resigned following comments made about the murder of George Floyd, which he believed was caused by the victim's, quote, criminal lifestyle. Hmm. <laughs> they, they got the little extra. <laughs> like, it's hey, remember <laughs> this, guys? You might not have, but we want you to. Yeah. You almost certainly don't remember this incident, but we thought but you'd be you reasonable should. To, <laughs> yeah. to bring that back up right about now. Between this and Ubisoft, it sure would be awesome if every big company in video games wasn't seemingly run by assholes. That, that's frustrating. Um, the Chinese version of Steam, the country that informs a lot of Steam's policy decisions and led to games like Devotion being banned on the platform, only has 53 games for sale. It's <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> It makes sense. Right. Like, it tracks. Yeah. It's a curi- It's a curated section of games. Yeah. The yeah, what are they? What's insert, the simul- insert noun simulator that everybody makes is probably not going to be available. That's sad. Mm. CSGO. Oh, I was zooming in on this I graphic. Did know, did know CSGO is huge yeah. in China. I can't. Uh, most first-person shooters are. Um, Noodle Man. <laughs> Dota 2. Yeah. A lot of them are, are Chinese characters. Like a lot of anime tight other cards, it looks like. Endless Journey. I don't know what that is. Adventure Commune. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I think a lot of these translations don't quite work is the problem. Oh, CS:GO is the only, and Dota 2 are the only two games that I've even heard of. CS:GO is free to play now. Damn. Fuck. I paid like sixty-five cents for that game. <laughs> damn it. God. Sixty-five cents too many. Yeah. yeah. There are over twenty thousand items available on Steam for us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get. A little bit of a superiority complex. 19,800 of those are not remotely playable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they also say Steam items. Like, what about all the tax software and whatever mm-hmm. else bullshit is on there? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm about- playing TurboTax 2021. <laughs> God damn it. Chase Bank, get your 1099 INTs in. This is frustrating. <laughs> I, I know I still have two months, but what the fuck? No, right? I want it lined up just for the peace of mind. I'm not going to pay it until like the first week of April anyway, but whatever. No, I don't pay taxes. Fuck you guys. I get, I get a return. <laughs> fuck. Year. I want that shit as early as possible. Oh, wait, Lucas, you have to Lucas pay is back more taxes? Freelancy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like 900 bucks by the Fucking looks of it. Poor boy. Wow. Wow! Paying taxes and shit. Uh, taxes pay me. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> I am the invisible fist of capitalism. You know, the government steals more money from me than it should, and it gives some back. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the real personification here. Maybe not even all of it. Maybe not even all of it if you misfiled a form. No, I'm sure yeah. that I don't get a full return. I just don't care. I'm, I'm not, I would have to get an accountant and actually care to get a full <laughs> refund. And I, eh, eh. Right. Couldn't be bothered. The Steam. Make a, make a couple more tanks. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Pay for Dude, a couple more Predator on missiles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one's on me, boys. Yeah. Treat yourself with something nice. The Steam game Emoji by developer Very Positive received mixed reviews. Ah, that's funny. This is fun. (laughs) This is a fun hustle. Very positive. (laughs) I admire the gumption. (laughs) Combine different elements to find a new one. Solve the main dilemma of humanity. (laughs) What? I don't know what's going on. What does that mean? The effect is that it looks like the Steam page's review summary section. <laughs> That's pretty funny. How'd they pull that off? I don't know. I don't. And also, would it have worked? 
I and also of their reviews, mostly positive. Like right, all of them at least. No, like they're they're saying that the reviews, the actual reviews, mostly positive. Mm-hmm. And then they're saying the developer and publisher are very positive to try to steal it. But like it seems like they didn't necessarily need it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they could have front ended that. They could have had developers get who had given them keys to the game and then had them give it very positive reviews or something like that and then or it could just be a joke. Okay. Like they they might just be like, "Hey, wouldn't this be funny if our name was this thing?" It's definitely like partially a joke, partially if it works it works. Like, yeah. And it's not illegal. <laughs> as far as I know, be it is. <laughs> this is all a joke, guys. <laughs> Unless yeah, <laughs> wasn't that a funny joke by our game? Does it cost money? Oh, you can be in on the meme too. You just gotta send me <laughs> those three wacky numbers on the back. Of your oh my card. god! <laughs> uh, speaking of things people want or are going to buy, uh, the Kingdom Hearts games are coming to the Epic Game Store. Brace for mods and memes. Is the Epic Game Store known for mods? Well, oh, because it's, it's on PC. PC. Yeah, that's fair. This is the first time ever on PC. God, Donald and Goofy are just gonna go at it. Yeah, I, I, the James Franco meme comes to mind. Where he's <laughs> at the news <laughs> first time. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, yeah, with some just disgusting Disney Rule Thirty Four. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> just I don't I don't know what another game that recently came to PC is, but first time <laughs> they have the power yeah. now uh also they're charging like full price for some of these games which seems uh, uh, a little weird disney properties <laughs> that's fair they like to they like to pretend it's a vault <laughs> guys we only open it up every once in a while so it's valuable can't can't open it too often. Air is bad for the masters. <laughs> Can't open it too often. Walt Disney's frozen head might thaw. <laughs> oh my god. We keep our DVDs in Walt Disney's head in the same vault. We We keep our DVDs in Walt Disney's head. Oh. It's a grid system. I don't even that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> It's a grid system. It doesn't even work. Oh, man. Andrew, take it away. Do you have notes? Yeah, I was looking for my notebook. Oh. Um, Is that a script? Just in, ca- in case we... No, in case we say something, like, really funny and I need to write down the timestamp for a highlight. Oh. <laughs> Fair? This is... So- Peek behind the curtain. <laughs> Doing work on the pod, Andrew. Dig it. Um, so moving on in the television, um, this is a story that we've already talked about, but uh, I I feel the need to talk to about it again because of how just overwhelmed with fear and nausea <laughs> this made me when I saw it. Uh, so the CW has ordered a Powerpuff Girls live action tv series focusing on the powerpuff girls as uh teens Mm -hmm. who are very resentful of their childhood and this makes me terrified i don't want to be pedantic but i do work in this business they ordered a pilot yes so there's a chance that this never sees the light of day (laughs) there's a chance that we're all spared but yeah i don't know andrew what's so bad about their childhood Uh, a dude in his 40s who was lonely created a bunch of young girls. It's just going to be a bunch of 16-year-old girls talking openly about their daddy issues and then fucking. I, CW. I, 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 this, yes, exactly. You've summed like, up that the is, CW. Yes. <laughs> this should not exist. What's the o- we have to do something. <laughs> What's the over-under on Bubbles being an e-girl? I feel like pretty high. Oh God! I don't. I don't want to think about the possibilities of this show. I... Is Professor X like arrested in this universe? Do you think? I don't. I don't. I. 
He might is be the Professor future X? president. No, is the, that his name? No, the chemical that made the Powerpuff the Girls. The Powerpuff is, Girls is chemical. Asks his name is yeah. Professor Utonium. Utonium. Okay, I thought. I think they usually. Goes I always by remembered the, it as you, Professor X. Yeah. I think he usually goes by the Professor, right? Mm-hmm. That's why I'm not really known. Eugene Utonium is his brother. Oh. Wait, does he not have a first name, but his brother does? I don't know. Maybe. Weird. And a professor is his first name. His parents had high aspirations. That's fair. Right. Oh, he wow. He met them. He created human life. <laughs> by adding sugar and spice and everything nice. What is everything nice? What the fuck did he put in there? A human, human genome. Like, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, <laughs> fe- fe- fetal uh, stem cells, like, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what, what did they give Trump to cure him of COVID? Or not cure him, just make him so he didn't die cells. of it. Just threw a bunch yeah, of that there. Literally, yeah, fe- fetal stem cells. No, they cloned him and t- transferred his consciousness over. Can't do it. They killed him. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. He doesn't care. Is JoJo going to be in this? I forgot there was a hillbilly character JoJo, named JoJo? JoJo. Oh, no, okay. I hope so. Uh, wait, what's the lifespan <laughs> Is of... Is he going to be a monkey? <laughs> What's the lifespan of monkeys? Depends. Also, his brain was, like, exposed. He's probably... He's probably not doing great in terms <laughs> of long-term going health. through some stuff. God. Imagine the CTE oh. of, of chronic sub-concussive blows to that exposed I don't, cranium. I don't want to deal with the CW making him... That's they're gonna have to make some changes there. That that character is not aged well. Exactly. Mm. But okay, and, and let me let me tell you something, Lucas. These Powerpuff Girls probably haven't aged well either. Ah. Yeah. Get it? Why don't they just make them not age? Just make them like perpetually young. I don't. They're cre- they're cre- they're creatures. They were made in yeah. a lab. <laughs> The, the, these aren't human. They, There's no exactly reason. what you'd call human. There's no reason they have to grow up. They were... What was the show My Life as a Teenage Robot? Like, Oh, yeah. There's no reason she had to have an age. They no. made her a teenager. Yeah, that... Let me tell you why these wow. creatures have to age, Ryan. Because these they have to grow tits at some point. Oh. And that's what they're going for. This is that's what they're going for. That's why I'm saying this should be illegal. They'll be played by 24 year olds. Yes, I know, but they'll make expressly certain to the entire audience that they're actually like 15 or something. I mean, yeah, they do that in Riverdale though, and everybody eats that shit up. And it was awful. It was really yeah. bad. Andrew People ate that shit up for like a season, and then but it did not uh, did not continue. It's because in the first season they were just high schoolers, then like that just made out sometimes. It was weird. But I, no, wait, no, they they made Archie fuck. I forgot about. That. Oh my, they yeah, made, they made Archie fuck a lot. Oh, Dude, it was <laughs> it was clear Archie fucks in that show even before he had sex with anybody. This is the guy doing all the fucking? Yeah. Trace Comas. Mm. What else we got, Andrew? Um, so, in a show that I am a fan of, and you guys have not watched, uh, we got some Mandalorian news, because, uh, spinoff, potential spinoff star, like, all but confirmed spinoff star, Gina Carano, one of the leads in The Mandalorian, and just noteworthy piece of shit, um, got fired from Disney for just, yeah, putting all of her awful opinions out on the internet. And I mean, yeah, I mean, she did everything. And now now she's best friends with Ben Shapiro. No. Yeah. So they, they might have to either cancel or rework an entire show that was going to be centered on her. I mean, I say good. I'm glad there's going to be at least one less Star Wars show. This is Star Wars, man. This is a line of dialogue. This is you got oh wow looks like the face changing machine did its job and changed your face character name yeah what if what if it just opens up with like a spaceship being destroyed and they're like oh her face is gone she just has to wear a helmet 
Oh my god. Luke Skywalker <laughs> used his force powers to change your face. That's how the force works. <laughs> can't take off her helmet ever that's against her culture <laughs> they start yeah, throwing just... like subtle digs at her like <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to defend the innocent people of a planet that were being uh beaten in the streets by their neighbors <laughs> 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 they go real topical with the, the writing around it <laughs> There's a lot of stigma over me wearing this mask. Oh. I want you to know. It's for everyone's safety. Yes. Yeah. Fuck. There's I new... love it. Oh man, you know what? Like, I I I, I really love socialism. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just really piss her off. Just to fucking get into it. Guys, no, it's a tenet of Mandalorian <laughs> culture that everyone have health care. <laughs> I just think Medicare for all is a good idea. <laughs> What's Medicare? <laughs> what? Ooh, sorry, did I say something? Felt like I was channeled. She just looks straight into the camera. <laughs> hey, Luke Skywalker, this Jedi Academy you're starting, you should cancel all the student loan debt that uh, people incur in taking these courses. What if they just deep fake her? <laughs> <laughs> like they did with what's her name yeah Grandma and also Tarkin. luke skywalker yeah 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 wasn't it shitty too i didn't watch it I it, it wasn't someone... as it wasn't as bad as people made it out to be i when i first saw it i did not know it was a deep fake because i thought it was sebastian stan <laughs> i don't think it was a deep fake wasn't it uh cgi and then people were like if you just use deep fakes it would actually be better i, I see no, that all I the time i don't know People like t- they'll they'll take CGI recreated like where they try to de-age them using like computer generated imagery, and they just deep fake instead, and it looks better. Like, mm-hmm. They uh-huh. they they do like homebrew deep fakes that just look so much more natural than actually mm-hmm. trying to make them younger in a computer. Oh. <laughs> so. Anyway, I don't know if they use CGI or deep fake, but it wasn't as bad as people definitely made it out to be on the internet, but. I mean, like, it wasn't fantastic. But again, like, it didn't look exactly like Luke Skywalker, even though they were using his literal face. And I did think it was Sebastian Stan. What's the difference? And, like, that's a guy that looks a lot like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it reminds me of one of my favorite things with uh, Fast Fur- Furious 7, whatever the final movie was that had paul walker yeah um in the clip where they're like peeling off onto separate roads and he like looks over at him and like smiles and stuff and everyone uses that as like the the peak example of how they fucked up like the cgi and whatever to make him look like he was still acting that was not cgi (laughs) that was just bad acting from paul walker (laughs) they had a clip of him looking over and smiling that they didn't use that was on the cutting room floor from a different movie and they used it there and people were like "Ooh, they really fucked up the cgi on that one and then they came out some of the some of the visual effects people came out and they were like so that was a real take that we just <laughs> they were like this is a good example of how we use like a hybrid approach to like you know recreate his 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 style and yeah this was just a a take that had been on the cutting room floor that we resurrected for the scene <laughs> turns out y'all Girl was like ooh turns out y'all are actually disrespecting his memory don't put it on us <laughs> i think that was the the gist of what they were saying yeah. oh my god they're like we're not going to say it was bad acting we are going to say that this was a real thing this was a real take with I, real paul walker that was in the honest trailer that like and yeah. cg paul walker like fuck mm-hmm. <laughs> oh <laughs> Andrew, what is uh, what is finishing up TV? Uh, we got some Last of Us news. Um, the HBO series uh, based on the Last of Us video games has cast its leads. We got Bella Ramsey from Game of Thrones as Ellie and Pedro Pascal from Game of Thrones as Joel. <clears throat> Pedro Pascal obviously put in here because he's good at playing a jaded wanderer who is escorting a child from one place to another while bonding and becoming their unofficial surrogate father. 
Ryan, so taken he, aback, he had a cough. Yeah, man. He's just gonna call Bella Ramsey Grogu at one point. <laughs> it's HBO, man. Mm. This limited pool of prestige actors. I. I I'm, I'm, like, I'm excited. I have no reason to not like this. I like all the things that these people have been in. <laughs> all three things. Pedro Pascal? No, no, not Pedro Pascal. I was going to say, Pedro Pascal's been in a fuck ton of <laughs> shit lately. And I think people yeah, didn't it, really like, uh, what's it called? Wonder Woman 1984. No. So, no. Uh, uh, well, what about the Great Wall? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, on some level, good on HBO for giving these actors more work, keeping them in the fold, fold like this, even though Pedro Pascal probably doesn't need it as much as uh, um, uh, Bella Ramsey. Aren't we good on uh, the Last of Us content, though? Aren't we like kind of t- t- fine? We're, we're you at better an not okay fucking place? spoil this for me. I'm not buy the fucking game, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's still gonna come out with a new version <laughs> for the PS5. I really do, and then I'm gonna be the sucker. I it. I I just. I feel like the market is saturated with The Last of Us content. Not commenting on the quality of any of the content, just like... Yeah, you are. We're good for a couple of years. We don't, you are we're commentating fine. On, the, on the quality of the content. We're fine. Let's be honest. Uh, also, you know I think we're good on anime for a couple of years. <sighs> it's like, we, it's saturated. We don't need any more. I'm not All qual- of it's been qual- done. commentating on the quality of the content i mean the I thing think is we're good with it a part of me is inclined to agree with you on that <laughs> there there lucas wants no new to anime it's like a moratorium on anime for a couple of years there there's the reset button boy they're 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 scraping the bottom of the barrel with some of their stuff there's some things in there that's like you didn't you didn't have to adapt this even if it's successful you could have just like Left it, left it alone. But no, mm. does does anime have to be a manga adaptation? No. Is there? Can you just make original anime? Yes, and some of the most successful ones are, but a lot of them that are equally successful come from manga. I know. So like, it feels like you don't want a moratorium on anime. You want a moratorium on anime adapted from manga because there haven't been enough mangas that are deserving of it nowadays. Actually, I'm. More... And if your argument here was. I don't want The Last of Us HBO series because I don't want TV to adapt, you know, books and old series and video games anymore. Then then that'd be one thing. But that's not why you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, I can't think of one. Well, okay. With the exception I don't know what you're about to say, but I, can, I know I can. With the exception of Pokemon, I cannot think of one video game property that's coming to like movie uh, movies and TV that I'm like, yeah, this is a good idea. I'm down for this. Everything like else is Sonic. Like... Assassin's Creed wasn't offensive. First Mortal Kombat movies were fine. Tomb Raider could have been worse. <laughs> Yeah. Video games are tough, man. Right? Mm-hmm. Last of Us might be an exception because it's the whole enjoyment for me of The Last of Us is the story. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, and even, even like the stuff that made the gameplay, you know, good or impactful is stuff that I think is uniquely, I don't know, equipped to be translated into a non playable medium. You know? Like the, like the dark, gritty, shit like it's it's been done before in other you know tv and movies and it's been done well so i i think i think that they'll be fine cinematic clickers are going to be fucking terrifying i am (laughs) ready i'm ready to not sleep yeah they were bad enough on ps3 graphics Uh, yeah i mean so much of it is the sound I mean, yeah, like, imagine it with creative camera angles, like sound design, and like professional filmmakers who know exactly how to make you feel emotions. I, I forgot that the same console that gave us original Dark Souls also gave us The Last of Us, huh? Um, you know, I don't know. I think that was another 
I'm not commenting on the. No, no, I'm saying like the last, the original movie. Dark uh, Demon Souls looked like shit. Oh, okay. Like vi- because it was at the very beginning of the console life cycle, and the Last of Us was at the very end. Right. So yeah. Um. Basically, PS2 versus basically PS4. Yeah. I. You know what? All all criticism, all skepticism will be off the table if this TV show has a scene where Joel's hiding behind the crate. Ellie is just pressed next to a crate, and the zombies just totally ignore her. Yeah. That's fine. Joel Joel creeps along silently, not making a single sound, and Ellie goes, stop, 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 yeah. stop, like right up to him. Yeah, kicks a brick, steps on a glass <laughs> bottle, says, hey, clicker. Yeah, yeah says <laughs> words. Just actively, Joel, do you see that over there? <laughs> oh, man. Fully invisible. All right, if there is nothing else, I think that will send us into the meme corner. Lucas put not safe for work in a link on our planning doc, and now the link is dead. Yeah, this oh, this cosplayer deleted, or not deleted, they locked their Twitter account because, yeah, it blew up in a way they probably never expected. Uh, so there is a character called uh, Astolfo from the Fake Grand Order uh, anime and game series, uh, femme presenting character. Uh, that started trending on Twitter because a Korean cosplayer dressed up as the character uh, while also posting just their giant dong. And it exploded, and now there is a meme called Astolfo's Monster Truck Cock. (laughs) (laughs) I have... Oh, my God. A couple this of This is going to be a 10 out of 10 meme from Lucas. Yeah, in okay. 10 years on the memes of the decade. One. Yes. That's so weird. Yes. <laughs> Two. I have not seen this ever anywhere. Yeah. And I doubt that I ever will unless you send it to me, which please don't. Just go. And to- again, yeah, like I know that in nine years, this is going to be an 11 out of 10. On the fucking decade in review. <laughs> and at that point, it would have been dead for nine and a half years. And also, none of us will have ever seen it. But you'll remember, Lucas. Lucas will remember it. It's burned into his head. I mean, how big are we talking? Uh, as big as a monster, monster energy can. Do they hold up a monster yes. energy can to compare? Yes. Okay. I mean, I want to see it. <laughs> It it will take digging. They're all to memes. Find. You can't find the original image. I, they, yeah, they lock their account. It will take digging to find the original image. Someone downloaded the image, Lucas. Yeah, Do you know yeah there's, the there are works? screenshots. <laughs> this thing blew up. Like, there is no way that someone didn't download this image. Uh, say, search off. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's shit! Already <laughs> it's already off. How's this not working? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm not that interested. <laughs> <laughs> it was a moment. It was a moment. Oh, and the uh, voice actor who voices the character in the series just fed the fire by, hey, I see a character I voice is trending. This is awesome. And then subsequently realized why they were trending. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Fun times all around. Are we still digging, or are we moving into the breakouts? I'm not digging. Oh, okay. Heard some click beat flags. The breakouts! Ryan, what are you checking out? Oh, man, still playing Madden, still undefeated. Mm. Won the Super Bowl again. Andrew, come on. What do you want from me? (laughs) (laughs) Defeat Ryan. (laughs) At three times a year, Ryan spends about an hour of his night hearing the wails of a broken man. No! <laughs> I, lo- I love how you're referring to this as in-universe time. Yeah. yeah. Andrew, Andrew sees uh, a, a, a post route heading towards the fucking sideline. 
He does not see Jeff Okuda hiding under the route, Devin White perfectly shadowing the route, and Isaiah Simmons perfectly bracketing the route on top of it, lobs the pass because he thinks he's wide open. It inevitably gets picked off, usually for a touchdown. And all I hear is, no! <laughs> Just run the ball, my guy. He tries. I, I was down by, like, first off, yes, I should run the ball more, and I'd avoid these problems. But also, I can't run against Ryan because his defense is too good. And two, when you're down by 50, there's no point in running the ball. Oh, you were down bad, bud. <laughs> yeah, what was it, like, 80 to 14? Something this like that. wasn't that bad. I went up. It was like 49 to 14 or something, and it was almost halftime. And we were, like, dicking around and, like, you know, just having fun with it like we usually end up doing around that time. And I was like, oh, so the game's over, right? Like, we can both kind of admit that the game's over. And Andrew was like, yeah, yeah, this shit's over. So I paused the game. (laughs) Uh, Immediately knew what he was doing. You didn't immediately. I think it took you a few seconds to be like, wait, why'd you? Oh. (laughs) And... Put in Randall Cobb, the ex-Packers wide receiver, (laughs) at quarterback uh, for the rest of the game because it's more fun with him and uh, finish the game with him. And uh, that was fun. How's he doing? How's the old Southpaw doing for you? He was having a good time. Good. He was was having a good – he had a good – and then he had a decent Super Bowl too. It was a a good ending. I hope he retires uh, because it would be a fun way to end as a Super Bowl champion that was brought on in week 17. Mm Mm-hmm of the season to, to play quarterback which he hadn't played since his senior year at kentucky so it had been a good 12 years since he had played any quarterback like riding the bike the streets never yeah. forget sign him off the streets and he performs decently he probably performed better than most of the quarterbacks in the playoffs so yeah um otherwise watched to all the boys always and forever which was my first foray into the to all the boys series of movies on netflix so oh is that the third one it is it's the most recent jade, one i think jade watched that this weekend the, and you didn't watch it with her on valentine's day weekend <gasps> we watched crazy rich asians on valentine's day it's less of a chick flick than <laughs> to all the boys we we put a pin in crazy rich asians andrew what so this series is one of the ones that is just always there in my peripherals but i i've i have no clue what the actual setup is with this show ryan can you illuminate me so there's this girl her name's laura jean and in the first movie which i didn't watch she writes a bunch of love letters to all the boys she's loved before basically all of her crushes that she never did anything with Ooh. um and then Oh no, I think her kooky sister delivered them to all those boys. Oh, oh okay. so embarrassing. And then to like avoid embarrassment because, like so that like all the boys wouldn't love her, I think. <laughs> and uh, then she'd have to like be embarrassed. I don't I don't know the exact method. Don't quote me on that. Don't make fun of the movie for that cuz I'm I never saw it. Uh she starts pretending to date this hot guy from the from the Noah Centineo. Team. Yeah, Noah the Centineo. Hottest, the hottest of guys. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if you're just undercutting him or something, but you know, yeah, he's a he's a standard CW hunk guy. And uh, pretending oh, it's a contract where they pretend that they're in a relationship and then they slowly fall in love for realsies. That's that's the the gist of that movie. And then this one The third one, I don't know what happened in the second one. I think there was, like, another guy who received her letter, like, way too late. And then he showed up and, like, was, like, competing for her affections and stuff. Uh, It's all very high school. And then then the final one, they're going to college. And he got a scholarship to play lacrosse at Stanford. And she wants to go to Stanford and, like, get married and start their life together and blah, 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 blah. And then she gets rejected from Stanford. (gasps) And And then, oh, turmoil. What, how how old are these uh, are these characters supposed to be? They are now seniors in high school. They're about to become college freshmen as of the end of the last movie that came out. Okay, okay. Because in my mind, this was somebody in their thirties doing this. Ah, which would be this is high schooler. Wow. Okay. No. Yeah. That's. Huh. Wait. It's blurred. What? It's blurred. Well, he was digging. 
I found it. He was digging. Okay, if it's we're blurred. Getting... That's fake. Yeah. This is why I think there oh, might okay. be... I, and we didn't get into it because the images were down, but that's why I think there might be shenanigans afoot. It's not even shenanigans. Like, it's fake. They blurred yeah. it. Oh, are you, oh, are you talking about this guy's dick? I yes. Mean, I, thought, I thought I just, like, blocked out for a second and missed no. something. This is a 12-inch long penis that is completely flaccid. Like, it's it's fake. The fact that... Either that or this dude has some serious, like, medical issues. No. This this would be no, the largest. I, I know. I'm I'm yeah, joking. This would be the like, largest penis on big. human record. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> and it's it's what is more likely <laughs> that this <laughs> random Korean cosplayer has the largest penis in recorded human history? How big would that, that be? Hard, <laughs> or that they played it up right for for part of the cosplay to yeah. have fun. Does, does, it, does more it look like a prosthetic or a Photoshop? Photoshop. Photoshop. Okay. So yeah, it's it blurred. Is, like, yes. I'm assuming. Mm. And that, that'd be very easy to pull off. For You're me, hiding all of the imperfections of the Photoshop right. with the blur. For me, it's a combination of not showing their face and also a pixelated dick. Uh, that, that's, sure. Yeah, that's a little little too overprotective. Uh, and also, there are no balls in any of these shots. Where yeah. are his balls? Yeah. <laughs> it covers <laughs> any potential to see any of that. Mm-hmm. Huge cock. <laughs> really small balls not really small andrew you're clearly not seeing i'm not what not seeing what have you the sent image it i'm putting it in the in the chat buddy oh, it, is, it is a fucking knee slapper <laughs> also yeah their knee is fucked up <laughs> oh my god the, right their right knee like it's kind of fucked i, I think yeah oh yeah it is going on. are they wearing like like shin pads or something? No, I think it's all Don't, just all no. fucked. Like it's they're they're facing towards the left, and then the Photoshop is head on, which makes it look like the knee should be head on, but it's not. Mm-hmm. It's all part of yeah the, the shitty Photoshop, which yeah. was just blurred. I love how it says at the top, "Sorry, this post has been removed by the moderators of R slash Astolfo," and then <laughs> we're just looking at it like <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think you did a very good there job. There's nothing of here, nothing to see. Move along. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, top comment. Dude, I think your knee is broken. Top response. It's hard to carry that monster, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's basically it. So, mm. yeah, that's my breakouts. Honestly, not a bad movie. Enjoyable enough chick flick. Uh, kept me somewhat entertained. I loved being able to predict a lot of the plot points. That was kind of fun. Like, for him to, him to be like, oh, we'll watch Say Anything. It's got that scene where John Cusack holds the boombox over his head outside of the window. And I'm like, he's going to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, like, yeah, 30 minutes later, when she accidentally texts him that she got into Stanford, uh, even though she didn't, she had just gotten rejected. Uh, he pulls up with his truck decorated with a bunch of Stanford shit. And he's holding a Beats pill or whatever. Oh, or John Boo. Cusack and playing the Stanford theme song. <laughs> oh, and she's too embarrassed to say I didn't get in. Stanford yeah. fight song. Stanford fight song. Stanford fight. Uh, fuck, I don't know. It's close. Know it is. It's probably close. Trees. <laughs> Our mascot's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're cardinal. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Um. Can I take a quick minute to talk about Honey Pop 2? <laughs> wait, you're playing through it? You can take a long... Yeah, wait, what? We didn't we reach were... our stretch goal. You're not going to be going into it blind. I mean, I, I figured it would go... All of it would go better if you had somebody kind of a man on the inside to know what's up, guide us through the stickier stuff. Yeah. Um, you're just taking one for the team. Doing oh, yeah. that Doing that initial stakeout, like on Mount Everest, when all the Sherpas right, set right. up all the lines and everything for the rich white people. Yeah, that, that's you with Hootie Pop too. I gotta let you know that don't don't try to save Green Shoes. He's been dead for a while. Just keep moving. <laughs> oh my god. Um, let me ask you guys a question. Uh, why do you think the original Honey Pop became so popular? Tits. Tits. That's right. Difficult match three gameplay. Wow. <laughs> they, there you go. 
there were some decisions made by the dev team about what they wanted to focus on here. And for some unfathomable reason, it was we we're going to really refine and add challenge to this fucking bejeweled ass gameplay. And that was a mistake, in my opinion. That was a weird decision. And focus on what you know, honey pop devs. <laughs> yeah. It's tits. I, but then also, this game is just like. The first one came out six years ago, and. I don't know. This feels like a game that maybe would have been okay if it came out two or three years after that, but now everything about it just feels dated from (laughs) Lucas it is a porn game (laughs) expecting anything from it is where you have been led astray the the original one was the thing that made porn games kind of mainstream but that doesn't mean that it was good or anything also yeah like the the look Ryan is giving is deserved (laughs) kind of mainstream is one of the biggest stretches I've ever heard I the, mm, I am I am just exhausted by the very South Parkian humor that I feel like I maybe would still kind of have been in 2017, but to not this extent. And then also, of course, some stuff has come out about the dev that's kind of like, eh, you can kind of make these jokes when like you're maybe a decent person, but you have some politics, just like the actual or, South Park people that the make the developer this not of Rooney Pop Two is. Problematic? Problematic? I know. Shocker. Wow. First developer of Hoonie Pop 2. What's next? Mr. Rogers? <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, God. What's next? French CEO of a video game company, Nicolo Laurent? <laughs> I love how the more we wait, say his wait, name. Wait, I'm getting the something. Less no. becomes a name. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> May God have mercy on our souls. Uh, I got one more, but before that, Andrew, what are you checking out? Oh, do we have, we have to finish with yours? I mean, have <laughs> or, okay, I can do two back to back. I can monopolize I, this I time. just don't know why we wouldn't. No, you uh, can finish right, with yours. No, like, no, yours seems like it's going to be really funny. So. Uh, I, I don't uh, know if funny, yeah. but uh, yeah, I got Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury for the Switch, and I'm playing that. It's really, oh. it, yeah, it's a 10 out of 10 Mario game, so par for the course. They focus a lot on the cat suit, which I, it's weird, and it's not just like, oh yeah, they're in like a cat onesie. No, Mario, Luigi, Toad, Peach, they are walking around on all fours when they are in that cat suit. They're committing to it. And I would love to see footage of Charles Martinet in the booth doing Mario noises when Mario's in a cat suit. And also, like, I bet you would. Kind of being, <laughs> like, cat y. It, it's weird. It's weird. He, Mario calls himself Miario when he's wearing the cat suit. I, I don't get it. Great game. Having a wonderful time. Good platforming. <laughs> now you see why I maybe wanted to space this out, Andrew. How I've learned that I can't front load all the shit I have going on on you guys how I gotta space it out otherwise you're just short circuited by it was that a real tweet someone said like it was from the insane tweets twitter account and it was like a screen grab of what looked like a nintendo tweet that said something like there's no better feeling than being inside of a cat (laughs) and a picture of mario in the cat suit with other cats (laughs) it can't be right that can't be real Please tell me it's not real. <laughs> I'm not finding it. Type, type, type. Yeah, probably not. Okay. It's just... It Very was a, funny, but... It was a funny parody. <laughs> Andrew, what do you have going on? Uh, I'm still playing Control, which is still just really fun. Okay. Uh, again, super weird. 
just getting kind of sucked into this just bizarre world that like they've created for this game that takes place entirely within an office building that just never ends and is a maze um a lot of good gameplay a lot of weird ways to shake up my kind of simple combat systems and yeah like the superpowers feel fucking cool i imagine this is what people thought they were going to get when they bought anthem Mm. (laughs) but Mm. uh no like it's yeah it's it's a lot of fun um other than that i watched crazy rich asians this weekend on valentine's day with jade a game that we talked about like four or five days ago like coincidentally um yeah huh. or movie i think i said game movie um yeah it is it's kind of a simple rom-com you kind of know what is going to happen because most rom-coms made in the last 15 years are identical but yeah, it's, it's basically um, this uh, American-born Chinese professor uh, is living in New York, uh, teaching economics. She's got a boyfriend named Nick. Um, and then, uh, oh, her name is Rachel, by the way. Her name is Rachel Chu. And then her boyfriend, Nick Young, is just, he's just a dude. And, and they're in love. And he's like, hey, you know, come to Singapore to visit my old family. And she's like, cool, I've never actually been to Asia despite, uh, you know, being Asian. So, like, I I would really appreciate that. And then they go and she finds out that the Young family is basically the owners of Singapore. (laughs) And they're the richest family on the island, and which makes them some of the richest people in the world. And she has somehow never heard of them or doesn't know what his background is. And she's not good enough for the family. That and mm. and shit happens and they try to drive her out but you know and then they break up and then they get back together and then they break up again and uh, you, you know what happens it I mean, as far as rom-coms go it, it was pretty solid you know it was enjoyable <clears throat> i liked having a different setting than most rom-coms and i, I appreciated what this movie did by having an, literally an entirely asian cast uh in an era where hollywood is like notoriously bad at casting asian actors didn't uh um, didn't i see that that steven like american produced and made steven ewan movie is under it, it's getting nominated for international film yeah no it's bullshit then that's yeah. entirely racism based yeah. like uh yeah minari is a movie that i haven't seen yet uh i don't know where i'm going to be able to see it but i look forward to seeing it when it comes out one because the trailer made me cry <laughs> um, and also i'm a big steven yoon fan he's a good um, actor he, he is. has chops actually which is kind of surprising from a walking dead alum but yeah the walking dead has plenty of talent mm. <laughs> lucas mm. the walking dead has wow. a lot of talent walking dead brought on a lot of talent <laughs> i don't know how many people any, any anyway um yeah and like a lot of the movie is spoken in Korean because it is about an, a Korean immigrant family who moves to America and starts a farm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, even though it is like, I think in an almost entirely American cast and yeah, produced and directed and written by Americans, uh, it's under the category of foreign film because they don't speak enough English in the movie. And a lot of people have made the comparison of like, the percentage of the script that is in English in Minari is higher than the percentage of the script that was in English in Glorious Bastards. Yeah. Which was nominated under, you know, American film. So it's just, it's horseshit. They, they gave, I hope it does well. but <laughs> They gave Green Mile Best Picture like two years ago. They're inclusive. What are you talking about? Yeah. Psst, 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 white savior. Psst, 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 psst. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're good for the next 10, 15 years, right, guys? Ryan, that sounded like you calling a cat. <laughs> that sounded like you calling a yeah. cat named White Savior. There's no better <laughs> feeling. <laughs> uh, do we want to go to the group chat to talk about one division? Sure. Go into the group chat. <laughs> the where your accents joke was really good. I don't know if that was even really a joke. 
it, it's, that it's, come it's, on it's part man. of well it's part of this show where they blur the line between like serious and like scary dialogue and then comedy mm-hmm. where the jokes are like objectively funny because of like the setting that they're in but the jokes are also horrifying <laughs> On purpose, it's it's this weird dichotomy of, yeah, ha, huh, this is a sitcom, and you know what's happening is just cruel and terrible, but still it's just laughs and you know chuckles and stuff like that. But yeah, like where is it, where'd your accent go? He's like, where'd yours go? Well, am I? I didn't think of that. Am I misremembering? I am a different person. <laughs> am I misremembering or did I miss here or did she kind of have it back when she was talking to the uh, spec ops guys? Well, no, that was the thing. When she left the the zone, when she got out of the barrier, her accent was back. Uh huh. Because then she was actually Wanda, but, but then she inside didn't have it in the past little couple. World she created. She's different. But then she didn't have the accent in the past couple movies. Where is where's no, the line? Did. She did. It's just mild. It's she a didn't, mild accent. She didn't it's really a, have it. It's a made it up. It's game. a made up accent for a made up country. Man, <clears throat> she definitely had it in the last couple of movies. It I... just was not really there because Elizabeth Olsen is not actually Eastern European. <laughs> <laughs> also, I I respect that for their '90s uh, family friendly sitcom, they went they went with Malcolm in the Middle over Full House. I appreciate that artistic direction. Yeah. Is Malcolm in the Middle '90s? I think it. It was like late '90s. Yeah, if I, yeah. Ba- based on the like architecture and the everything that was happening in that episode, I think it was supposed to be the the late '90s. First episode of Malcolm in the Middle was January of 2000. Really? Wow. Well, which she just missed it. Early, basically, the '90s. The the '90s didn't end until like 2004. <laughs> or 9/11. I was just saying that's definitely an early 2000s show because I remember it being an original. That's right. Like I remember its first episodes, or I, I just remember like being able to be like, "Oh, the new episode of Malcolm in the Middle is on." I just, I just caught up to it on reruns on Nick at Night. I, yeah, yeah, totally that was missed. definitely the majority. But I remember it being like, <clears throat> "Watch it on Fox today." Blah 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 blah. So, yeah, um. Vision literally being ripped apart was kind of a... That was a moment. That was a lot. Yeah. You're dead. You're dead. Shut up. I'm gonna go walk out this thing. Dead. Just fucking dead. Yeah. I. It, mm. Do you think it's actually her brother? Quicksilver being there? Is that actually her brother? Or... That... Or what are they doing there? If that's the case, that's kind of a dick move to kick ass, not to get him back for the role. I mean, it's they're blending the the multiverse shit. They're bringing in the X Men. We know that's happening. I don't Good think it. Be. I don't think it is. I think he is being brain controlled, but then a part of it because he is a main character in the sitcom universe is that he's in on it also by television show logic. So his brain control is him being aware of it also. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those. Like uh what's that show? Um uh kind kinda of, kinda of like how uh I cannot remember the name of it for the life of me. The one where it's the cowboy... Westworld. There we go. Kind of like in Westworld, how one guy learns that he's a cyber, he's a robot, but that's somehow different from Dolores realizing that she's a robot and then gaining sentient... I don't know. That line was always blurry to me on Westworld. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are we going to go to a clap sync and a wind down then? I think so. All right. It's late. It's late on a Monday when we're doing this. Late night. Voluntary viewing at the night. Beautiful. Beautiful clap sync. Who's the quote from? Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Well. Do mm. we do that on the main podcast? Sometimes. <laughs> Definitely not. Wow. <laughs>
I'm just curious. <laughs> Making sure I'm not crazy. I do want to say this this quote is odd. Oh, here we go. Oh, doing it. All right. I didn't, We're establishing a new canon. I, I don't I don't want this to be a regular thing on the main podcast. I don't know why, I just don't. Uh, Abraham Lincoln said, As I would not be a slave, so I would not be a master. This expresses my idea of democracy. <laughs> Is that that weird? Hold on. No, I'm just like correctly? no, no, no. the the sent the sentiment is not weird. The mm-hmm. him saying what his idea of democracy is, and then saying that's that's my idea of democracy. I don't know. I find that weird. I, I mean, I, well, perfectly and like applicable. It's uh, as deep as any like motivational quote, or not motivate, you know, but like that type of ooh deep quote. I. Yeah, you it's know, basically can, the golden rule, but restated in terms of slavery. And this was at a moment in time where it was democracy, but without slavery, was kind of a radical idea for a lot of people. No, somehow. I what I'm not saying that, like, what you know, the first part I think is fine. It's that second sentence that makes it just sound weird to me, where he I says this the thing, right, and yeah, then he right. says, "That's what I said." No, it's my idea of this. I apply this to other parts of my life, including like how I want our government to be run. Basically, like apply the golden rule all the time. Like if I'm doing this to someone, would I like to be in their shoes? If not, I shouldn't do that thing. Like that sort of thing. Okay. That's what what Republicans should be doing. (laughs) Or (laughs) with Donald Trump. (laughs) Like, would you like it if Bernie Sanders turned out to be your worst fear? and just wanted to overthrow the government so that he could stay in power and run a socialist regime. Would you like that? Or would you try to impeach him? Well, I mean, you had me until the socialist regime part. (laughs) Or, I mean, I mean, at that point, uh, Chuck Schumer would just get up there and say, Joe Biden is guilty of everything you've accused him of. Yeah. Not guilty. <laughs> Joe Biden's guilty of every. Uh, yeah, Bernie Sanders did try to overthrow the government and establish the socialist re- regime. But that being said, I don't think it's constitutional to call him guilty. <laughs> well, I, t- <laughs> that's not your job, bro. <laughs> You're a juror on a trial. <laughs> yeah. Your Honor, did this man kill matter. these people? Yes, but. I don't want him to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's perfectly like no. your your run of the mill deep quote that maybe isn't that deep when you think about it, but right. people probably like to proclaim it for being super deep. Mm-hmm. And also doesn't really apply in the era of neo Nazis as much as people like to think. No. Bipartisanship. Why can't we get along? It's like, well, one side is kind of advocating for the extermination of the other side. Yeah. So maybe that's why. Yeah. That that scene from The Simpsons, which I don't even watch, but I see this meme pop up every once in a while where it's the DNC and the RNC. And the DNC says, you know, we hate, we hate life and ourselves. We can't govern. And then the Republicans just say, like, we're literally evil. We want what's <laughs> worst for everyone. <laughs> not wrong yeah but i don't know man when 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 literally what QAnon wants is for democrats to be exterminated like yeah can we be a little past bipartisan is that allowed <laughs> like mainstream QAnon supporters are sad that donald trump didn't overthrow the government and begin exterminating democratic like legislators and just voters because all they're going to do is commit voter fraud forever. Like it kind of starts to not apply, (laughs) but oh well. Oh, he didn't do a coup. All right. Better get back to scalping on these PlayStation fives. Is, is that's that the, the new overlap <laughs> that's the new calling people nazis is <laughs> calling them scalpers. capital stormers yeah. i did mm. oh no i thought you meant like calling them like playstation scalpers 
Well, but yeah, like that's that. Uh, otherwise, the old one would have been like, oh, people who scout PlayStation Fives are literally neo Nazis, dads who make their kids figure out how to open up a can of beans, starving them to death, <laughs> are literally Nazis. Now it's literally uh, QAnon believer. That <laughs> I mm, mm, kind of in my mind, and maybe this is problematic. I don't know. I'm just attributing the worst qualities to QAnon people and yeah people p- sitting on like a pal to PlayStation 5s right now pretty bad those guys suck too some of them probably in QAnon I I will Bean Dad was is there some overlap I'm sure I'm sure there is a decent amount of overlap are both of those things bad yes yes they are mm-hmm. are they comparable <laughs> on any scale <laughs> no fuck is it really that much worse than what wall street bets did with the gamestop stock it feels kind of similar i mean assuming it's not some rich asshole doing it assuming it's a normal person that just pooled their life savings to buy twenty thousand dollars worth of playstation 5s and is now scalping them for you know a three hundred dollar a pop uh price I, am I saying it's a good thing to do to other people? No. I mean... But is it also just another form of manipulating capitalism to potentially benefit people other than giant corporations for once? Like, I mean, we got ours, man, so I feel like we're not the people to make this decision. <laughs> From our ivory PlayStation 5 tower, we cannot make this call. It's up to PlayStation, though, to fix it. Like... <laughs> If they released more PlayStation 5s, all of those people would get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> like, but because they're not able to do that, that's what's giving them the power. So it kind of ends up being a little on Sony, it feels like. All right. I, I should have gone with... I second guessed myself. Should have gone with the original one. Ah, oh, he didn't do a coup. Better go back to not feeding my daughter. Yeah. Uh, Bean dad. Bean dad. Ah, fighter of the children. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna be like fighter of the cheese, dad. I don't know. Oh, yeah, starving them is a way to fight people, kinda. Actually, yeah, siege warfare. That's what that's about, huh? Oh yeah, nailed it. Yeah, and we nailed episode. 131 of the Voluntary Viewing Podcast. If you like what you heard, like, comment, subscribe, etc. Send us your questions, business opportunities to voluntaryviewing at gmail.com. Check us out on Instagram and YouTube, although you might already be listening to this episode on YouTube. We throw up full episodes on YouTube and also clips on both of those platforms that Andrew puts together and are fantastic. Yeah! Uh... Also, Andrew occasionally throws up a TikTok there. You should watch that one. Go to his actual TikTok. Give it a like. Get There's that. no guarantee he, that I'll ever make another one. He's got the fire in him. He's got the fire in his belly. He's going to be a star. Um, And then also check out our Patreon. Join the likes of Tiffany Cole, Sensual Richard Nixon, and Sucky Badger. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, get us to $100 a month. We will play Honey Pop 2 to completion, even if it's kind of a bad game. Uh, and lastly, follow me at LucasDeWriter on Twitter. Keep up with all of my writing. A lot of great stuff in the pipeline. And, of course, that uh, video on Jackie Daytona and why I can't get him out of my head. Uh, you should also check out... Um, I lied. That was not the last thing. Uh, Act Blue link in the description down below if you'd like to help a collection of great causes. What note are we ending this on, gentlemen? Strawberry cheesecake. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. The crust is good. It's cheesecake. The cream cheese filling. Fine. What, uh, what the, from where? You want to shout out where you got the cheesecake? Gordon Biersch in mm. Burbank, California. Hmm. Yeah. They also mm. had cheese curds. Oh. Like, so that was cool. Like Wisconsin fried. style? Uh, yeah, like fried cheese curds? Yeah. Well. That's not Wisconsin style. Come on, Andrew. You're embarrassing uh, yourself. 
I think both kinds of cheese curds are Wisconsin tri- Wisconsin mm-hmm. style cheese curds. Cheese curds come in a plastic bag and they're yeah. sticky and you refrigerate them. I haven't found either of those outside of Wisconsin. I've I've never I just Yeah. Didn't I just say Yeah. Right I ate fried cheese. Curds. No, no, no. I know that you have. I'm I'm yeah. like I know that you just said that. I'm saying I haven't found fried cheese curds outside of Wisconsin. So I assumed that that was also like a strictly I, I mean, Wisconsin any, thing. Any place with the Culver's is going to have them. Like that's Yep rapidly growing and I don't, fried cheese curds i feel like are restaurant style and more mainstream the wisconsin style hmm. fucking uh, that's the good shit that you can't get anywhere else yeah and my my boss uh because he's a wisconsin alum got sent a giant bag of like badger brand mm. classic cheese curds and he he shared so many of them with me and i was Fuck so yeah. fucking ecstatic because you just can't get them <laughs> they don't exist I am and discovering. Andrew looks like uh, punk rock, bro. Yeah, but he looks like a character. Fuck me. I look like every character. I look like Violet from The Incredibles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cover the one eye. The. Huh. Wow. Mm. The fourth best Incredible. Ooh, Incredibles tier list. Go. Uh, Mr. Incredible, Dash, Mrs. Incredible, Violet, the baby. Elastigirl is definitely, definitely at the top for reasons you, you know. (laughs) Wow. This, your tier list is going to get problematic after two entries. (laughs) We were horny on this one. I don't know where that came from, but we were horny on this one. If Andrew's tier list is topped by Elastigirl for obvious reasons... After two adults, his tier list is going to get pretty weird. No, no, that's the tier list. Oh, it's Elastigirl? That's it? No. That's the tier list? S tier. You're not going to throw in an honorary for the, 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 the kind of villain woman whose name escapes me at the moment? Mirage. Mirage. Yeah, Mira- yeah, Mirage. Right. A, double A tier. All right. Ha ha. Not Does what I was going pick? for, but... Because she ain't thick. Oh! She ain't down with the thickness. No, I thought we were just doing the main family. And then I kind of disagree. I feel like Mr. Incredible is super white bread. It's like putting fucking Superman at the at the top of your list. Uh, I'm going to go Dash. Yeah. Mrs. Incredible. Mr. Incredible. Violet. Jack-Jack. And Jack-Jack's hard because, like, it's not fair. He's, He's a baby. Who knows? Yeah, give him, give him 15 years and... He could climb that list. I feel like they had to make up reasons, though, for Violet to be relevant. <laughs> like, she can put force fields around her hands so that she can get away from the electricity and, like, turn off the key to set them free. Like, I don't think that makes sense, but okay. Oh, like Invisible Girl from Fantastic Four. No. 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 <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Definitely not that. No. What? Were, uh, were, were the Incredibles... What, was their last name actually Incredible, or was that just the Mr. Par. Incredible superhero name? Bar. They were the Pars. Par, yes. R. Yeah. Okay. Dashel yeah. Robert Par was Dash's real name. No, Dashel. it's not. It was Dashel. You fucking look it up. I have a good memory. I guarantee. Mrs. Incredible says Dashel Robert Parr when she's referring to him. His real name is Dashel. Dash is more of a name than Dashel. I don't care. I know it's Dashel. Wow. You can't you can't make fun of me. You can make fun of the Incredibles. So yeah, no, Mr. He's right, Dashel yes! Robert Parr. <laughs> So, Are you not entertained? <laughs> so not Robert and name. Helen Parr were like, okay, first kid. What are we going with? Violet. Solid. Good girl's name. A little out there, but you know what? Still in modernity. Dashel. Number two. <laughs> fucking okay. Swinging for the fences. Number three. Jack-Jack. Okay, his two real name's names. Jack. No, it's His not. name's Jack. <laughs> no. They didn't name, like, okay, I, I had a friend whose little brother's name was John, and everyone called him John John. Like, it's not, 
His, his birth certificate didn't say John John. His birth certificate didn't say Jack Jack. I was inclined to believe you, but then you dropped that Dasher's name is Dashel. But that's now canon. <laughs> I'm I am was right that time. Yeah, but that makes me think that they just went with the dumber of the two options. Are we going to call him Jack or is his real name Jack Jack? Probably Jack Jack. I now. mean, also, she, you understand that her name is Violet because of like ultraviolet light and invisible and shit. I kind well, of actually, don't agree with you because here's the thing. We've seen what happened with Jack Jack. Yeah. You develop your powers in weird ways. It takes a minute. I don't think they knew their powers when no, they No, I'm saying... Yeah, the writers. Yeah, we're no, getting the past writers the writers. We're, can- we're yeah. talking canon. We're talking Helen and Robert Parr choosing baby names. They said Violet before they knew that, yeah, she made Violet force fields and shit. And they said Dash before they knew he was a fucking fast baby. What if Dash was fucking... He could stop time. <laughs> no, that would actually what, what, what if they yeah. changed their names once they discovered their superpowers? And so Jack-Jack's <laughs> name in the next movie is just going to be like demon yeah boy. like it <laughs> oh mm. oh boy called it no <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit why did they have that in our middle school library and why did i read it what y'all never heard of a boy called it no <laughs> ah it's a memoir from a kid who was so horrifically abused by his mother that uh it became a bestseller. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wow. I don't know why that was in our middle school library and why, like, a bunch of us read it. But it was real. Fuck. Huh. Yeah. Ended this one on a downer. Okay. Yeah, was this... Didn't we already do kind of the post roll? A little bit. Yeah. I feel like we did most of it. I... Shit. All right. I guess it was the end. Uh... Goodbye, everybody. Good luck out there. If you're in Chicago or Texas, be careful in the snow. Bye.